When you're 21, life is a road map. It's only when you get to be 25 or so that you begin to suspect you've been looking at the map upside down. And not until you are 40, you are entirely sure. By the time you are 60, take it from me, you are lost. These were reflections on life in general and youth of the elderly protagonist of the book we are going to talk about today. The book is called Joyland and the author is Stephen King. I'd like to note at once that I'm not a huge admirer of Stephen King. Not everything he's written has left its mark in my memory or in my heart. However, such works of his as The Green Mile, Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, Misery, Rose Matter, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, and of course, Doyland, are really, really interesting and cool in my opinion. And such of his acclaimed um, masterpieces as It or Shining, for example, didn't really touch me. I believe it's because the works of King, who, um, which explore man, his nature, weaknesses, strengths, capabilities, um, really draw my attention. Uh, while his books, um, which center on mysticism and bloody meat horror, do not really impress me. One really interesting thing about this book, Joyland, is that in the genre description, it's described as horror, mystery, and crime. But in my opinion, each of these genres serves only as special dusting or atmospheric background. Like Joyland, this amusement park itself, it's the mixture of circumstances and the fates of people who are involved in it. So the story of the book centers on the one, a 21-year-old guy, Devin, whose heart is broken and who wants to find a job before he starts school. He happens to find the job at Joyland. And um, this park, together with its rules, atmosphere and stuff, has its own story or legend, according to which, four years ago, there was a murder of a young girl there. And it is rumored that after that, the ghost of this girl is hunting employees and visitors of the park. The murderer has never been found. However, the man who was suspected was captured in one of the photos, but no one has ever been able to identify him. And Devin becomes really caught up in the story and tries to find the answers one way or another. Oh, and by the way, speaking about the photos, I believe that this book cover depicts one of the main characters, Erin. Well, according to the description, everything fits. Her hair, her clothes, and the presence of a camera. For those who haven't read the book, um, Erin was hired as one of the Hollywood girls, basically as one of the photo photographers who were taking pictures of the visitors with vintage cameras. So, together uh, with a new job into Devin's life come both good pals and new loyal friends, as well as those who hide their faces behind the masks and as well they they hide in their dark secrets. But nevertheless, um, our protagonist, although being really devastated morally and mentally, stays a really kind-hearted and a decent person, no matter what. Above all, I believe this book is about growing up 
and interchanges. And only after that, it's a thriller, crime, or horror. I personally think that there aren't any adults at all. There are only aging boys and girls. So, tell me, have you read this book? What do you think about it? Or maybe you have other favorite books written by Stephen King. I'll be more than happy to read your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.